Hello and welcome to Microsoft Excel tutorial from ITME and this is tutorial number 73 and in this video we are going to talk about links and don't get confused with hyperlinks. Hyperlinks they were basically navigatable links when you click on that and you jump to a particular location on the sheet or a workbook. But in this case we're going to talk about links and links is nothing but a mirror copy of a cell so if you change on the the original copy of the cell all other links gonna get updated so let's see if I have a cell over here and I have some text over here and I want to make a link for this cell what different couple of ways are there so I'm gonna show you all the different ways so one is I can say control C and then I say control V and then I press control and then you're gonna see over here we have option paste link or N is the shortcut for that I select that and the link got created now if you have a look carefully that this cell is having a formula that says equals to dollar b dollar three it means it's absolutely referencing this cell so this is quite easy second ways i can say control c and then i say control alter v paste special and then you're going to see over here a button that says paste link and i can click the link again the same address the third way is i can do it from here paste special and directly say over here paste link and the link gets pasted and the fourth way is I can simply click on the cell I select the cell that I want to drag and then right click right right click on the cell while your mouse is in the border of the cell right click and drag that mouse over to wherever you want to make a link and release the mouse and then you want to get this menu so from here I'm gonna say that we want to link to this cell and the link got created now the benefit of this link is that if I say welcome and then you're gonna see that all these values got updated so this is pretty good if you have same kind of data that is appearing in all different location and you want to manage them easily so that in future if you need to change you just make change at one place and it's gonna change all over in different locations so this is how we work with links and let's see some more examples so here I have the sales sheet different quarters I have different regions sales and I want to make a link over here so in real life it could be that you have hundreds and thousands of rows and you don't want to scroll over to different summations you want to have a central location where you want to see the summary so in this case I can create the link so let's do again how can we do that is control C control V control N and you got the link second way was control C and here control alter V and say paste the link and the third way is I say control C and paste and paste a link and the last way was simply select the cell right click at the edge and drag over and release where you want to drop the cell over here release the right mouse button and then you're gonna see the menu and select from here link it here and then we create the link so you can see over here all these links are absolute link now you say that if I what if if I need to insert some more records in these cells so suppose over here if I have to insert control shift plus and I want to insert cells so I move the cells down and I, then I say I have a region called as central region and there I had sale of 20 right. So you can see that when I perform the insert operation, this cell is still pointing to this location. It's not pointing to the original location. It got automatically shifted to the next cell. So this is how we can work with cell referencing within a sheet. Now, what if, if I have to get the data or reference the cell from different sheets? So if I have over here is data for different quarters all in different sheets sitting over here and I want to get the total over here in these different four cells so again we can perform the same thing I go to quarter one control C and then over here on to the total I can press control V control N and I got the link over here so you can see the link over here in this case it is pointing to the sheet that sheet name is appearing within single quotes exclamation mark and then you have the absolute address for that cell now let's second one this summation I want to have here I selected this cell now I want to have this total control C and here I want to have control alter V paste the link uh, link got created to quarter two and then I want to have for quarter four we can do using the control C and onto the total over here paste a special and I want to paste the link and now the question arises can I perform the drag and drop across the sheet let's try so if I just right click this and I move it down move the mouse down over here to go to the last sheet you're gonna see that the sheet starts scrolling so what you need to do is you need to press the alter key 
and now when you move the mouse over to the total now you can see you moved on to the total and now you move on to the cell where you want to drop it release the right mouse button and then click link here and you got the link created so this is how we can create the links for different worksheets now what if if i want to create a link to some other workbook so if i have this total let's do the summation over here for the different quarter so i say that this is 2018 total and alter equal to get the total over here and let's say over here let's see if this as 2018 sales and now i want to link to this cell some other workbook so if i go on to file new workbook and on this workbook i want to have the sales for suppose let's say different years so i say sale for 2018 and i want to get the total over here from that different workbook so what i can do is i can click on equal sign and then i go over there to the other workbook and then I click on this. Now you're gonna see over here in the formula bar, you have the within single quotes, the name of the Excel file appearing within square brackets. Then we have the sheet name, exclamation mark, and then we have the actual address. So when I press enter, and now you can see this is the address. And definitely you can perform all other operations also using cut, copy, paste, drag, everything you can work like it was working within the same workbook. So, now let's see how this update works so if i make changes how this file will get updated so if i say let's see if this workbook also and i say this is contoso sales and i close both the workbooks right and then i go on to excel and open the 2018 workbook and let's say i made changes over here so this was 217 I make some changes I say that this is 14 and this is 19 and now you're gonna see that total got changed to 255 let's save it and close it and now next time when I will open the the 2018 sale the Contoso sales workbook you can see over here that is gonna give you a warning that update has been disabled just for security reasons and whether you want to update that or not so you can see that that 255 is not appearing as of now once you say enable content is gonna go back and look in that excel file and then gonna update you can see the actual address you can see of that excel file so when i click on enable content this file gonna get updated so click on that and you can see it got updated so this is how we can perform that beta operation now i'm not gonna save over here this file and now let's say if i move that excel file so if i go on to the documents excel and i rename this file 2018 contoso sales now what will happen is when i will open this file is going to ask that that file that i was referencing that is missing what do you want to do i want to update it or don't update it uh, it's asking me that you want to update so i say okay update that and now it says that we can't update some of the links for the book right now you want to continue or you want to edit the links so i say i want to edit the links and you get this links dialog box and from here you can see that it says that this particular file i was referencing that is not found you have different options available you can see that i lost that file you can break the link so whatever formula was there that will get converted to a constant or you can say that i want to tell you that what is the new location so i say change source and instead of looking on to that file now you must look at 2018 contour so sales and i click on ok and now you can see it got updated so these are the different options available for updating the links and if you want to see this dialog box directly also you can go on to the data tab and then we have over here in the connections group we have edit links and you can update the links from here and then also we have option over here for startup prompt that whenever you open your file and that has links to some other file what should happen let user choose to display the alert or not and different options are available you can simply enable or disable that automatic update so let's close it and that's all about linking sheets and cells and workbooks hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video